By request from a friend, I'm going to tell the story and update what's happening on the grotto um, with pictures. It won't just be me talking. But um, so here's, I'll go backwards a little bit here. Those who have kept up with us know that I've been toiling away in my backyard in virtual obscurity. Um, I think only three neighbors really know what I've been up to, <laughs> and only partially. Um, six years. And on the, I, you know, and I, things were coming to a close and I was getting close. I, I wanted to finish it by summer. I didn't quite make it. But uh, a couple weeks ago, I decided I was finished. I mean, I could work on this place for the next 20 years easily, right? And never be done. But I decided I'm done and um, put my house up for uh, sale, which it is currently. And um, decided I was it was time to move on, you know, start the next chapter, whatever. And um, I found a, I had a piece of metal that was just ugly and what have you. And I said, oh, I would be, and I had a spot for it. So I, um, I, you know, I made a plaque and I, I signed it. And um, finished it two weeks ago almost to the day, Saturday, two weeks ago. So a day and, a, and a, a, a two weeks and one day. And I put my name and I signed it and um, my real name. And um, that was that morning. And as soon as I finished the sign, you know, screwed it onto the wall and said, okay, I'm finished. Took a picture of it, you know, sort of commemorated the moment. Uh, I walked down the street to my mailbox and um, there was just a stack of letters and they were all from the city. And all these violations. <laughs> My listing apparently went somewhat viral. Um, was trending on Twitter for a while. And all this shit was happening. And, um, you know, there were drone shots and everything of my backyard and what I'd been building, what I've been up to for six years. And so the city, it caught the attention of the city officials as well. Got, you know, the city government. I live in a small city, so small town, really. And all these letters poured out of my mailbox. <laughs> and I said, you know, on the day I was finished after six years of obscurity. I mean, and I, you know, it was a gut punch, you know, initially. And I was like, oh, fuck. You know, I was really sad. And all my friends and everybody were like, what are you going to do? You must fight City Hall and da da da, -da save it. And I got, and I was, you know, kind of had that thought for about a week and a half or so. And then it just came around to me that, well, shit, I, I did theater for years, right? And I did everything. I, I, the, I ran the theater, you know, small production company and wrote the scripts and cast the actors. I even acted myself, directed the plays, blah, 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 blah. I even built the sets, hung the lights, did everything, right? Blood, sweat, and tears would go into every production. At the end of it, it would all be struck and torn down, and then you move on to the next one. And I thought, in those terms, I've been preparing myself for this fucking moment like for my whole life why am why i'm not gonna be here whoever buys the house the property whatever it's up to them anyway um but regardless of that i mean if the city says you know bring it up to code or tear it down this place is never going to be up to code are you kidding me fuck i mean there's not a there's you know nothing's level plumb 45 degree angles there's nothing i mean code <laughs> what is that i mean it wouldn't look like it, what it looks like if it was up to code. Jesus Christ, I, I'm just not a rule follower. So it's a piece of theater. It was six years production. I learned a hell of a lot. And um, it's time, you know, I'm just, I'm going to have a big party here. You know, the band will play. And um, we'll break out the jackhammers and sledgehammers and, you know, tear the shit down <laughs> and move on. As any good theater production would do. So I'm just sharing that with you. I've been telling the stories to my friends and one of my friends just, a couple days ago just said, you gotta make a video of this. And I said, oh fuck, I guess. So to those who have followed this little um, odyssey, that's where it is, man, that's where it is. To me, it's very poetic. I'm no longer sad about it whatsoever. So I don't want anybody else to be sad about it. It's been a hell of a ride. I've enjoyed every fucking step of the way. And I've I've learned a tremendous amount, so. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so probably the next video will be just demoing this bitch and, uh, 
having a party. Okay? So there you go. Happy 2023. <laughs>